and we see the sun. I don't know to Hawkeye 3 report plays. I'm, yeah, screw it, I'm not reading all that. Because they're completely voiced act. Because you can completely hear them over the music. Great design decision. Oh well, they probably aren't important in any way whatsoever. A parallax software game. Is the ghost text of the outer space asteroid belt soul system area. And let's see here. Here we are. I think we have gained a few polygons since the last game. Which is probably only temporarily or temporary. And there's our target, arming mega missiles. Oh shit, we used all of those up. Alright. This is Ryzen 55 of you. Oh, never mind. Um, I guess we're this guy. And eat my Zibris. Three? What's in the other two? And then the space station ate us. And we visited hell. And now he's more annoying than ever. Where we require you to gather reconnaissance information. We are fitting your ship with a warp drive prototype for the jump. Oh, I've already fulfilled my contractual obligation, Travis. I'm not doing any more of your dirty work. Ah, yes, your primary obligations have indeed been met, but if you study your standard mercenary agreement, hey, what are you doing? PTMC okay. Reserves the right to keep you on retainer for up to 72 hours post mission. Travis, you son of a. If you choose to decline further service, we may consider you in default in your contract, and your fee may be suspended pending litigation. Good luck, material defender. Travis, out. And we were screwed out of our money. So yeah, need to get those mega missiles back. I knew it. Need to nuke I this place. The would find a way to cheat me. But then if we nuke them, we can nuke our money. Me. But they left me with no choice if I want my money. Initiate a jump and oh my gosh, that's our finger. That's all of our character that we will ever see. I only hope this is just a reconnaissance mission and nothing more. Hey, we're going to some place. And then, oh my gosh, we're overheating! We're gonna die! And then we died, game over. So anyways, next time on- wait a minute. <coughs> and this is the Scent 2 trademark. Yay, trademark. So anyways... This is Descent 2, so welcome to Let's Play Descent 2, where we're playing Descent 2. I guess. Um, what is there to say? This is Descent 2. It is essentially Descent 1, except not. Pretty much. Um, I'm just going to do stuff in this here. Yes, the Descent 2 strategy guide available at 1 800 531 2343. You should all call that number right now. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. Anything else we should be concerning with here? No, nope. we just gotta start a new game. On insane difficulty. Again, with the insane difficulty. At least that took like. How many times? Not as. Let's see. That took about half as long as the briefing from the original game. Wasn't much of a briefing though. They, they just kind of told us, hey, yo, you're screwed. Anyways, Anyways here this is telling us our little guide bot buddy here. It is not a threat. Maybe true, but most likely not. <coughs> it's a perfect tool to use for your upcoming missions. Yeah. <laughs> it's only if you don't like getting lost completely. But then again, it's not. It's just. Whatever. It is a robot. Portable equalizing standard transpot. It is a pest. It is 1.5 meters. 
Yes, in this game we have all new robots. I don't think we see any of the robots from the previous games. That's the only meaning there are no drillers. And then, unfortunately... <coughs> Light Vulcan. Yet, yeah, we meet it in level 1. We meet the standard Vulcan enemy. Even though it's not exactly the same as the Drillers Vulcan, it is uh, still horrible nonetheless. Anyways, some random robot we don't care about. I think this is our Green Hulk replacement. And yes, and um, this is our random new enemy of the game. It is a uh, bandit robot, and it's a modified trash collector. It collects all of the trash you collect on your sip. So anyways, here we are, it is Descent 2. Um, I don't know if this is just the uh, good old games version, or if it's actually part of the original game, but the HUD is more high definition -y than it was before. Also, I'm recording this differently, so the high definition -y actually um, does something. Yes, I'm recording this actually from my computer, so... Instead of using the DVD recorder, which was kind of retarded. This is like ten times simpler, I guess. It only take. Let's see, last time I made a recording with this, just as a test, sort of. I recorded for about two hours, and it was about a hundred gigs. <laughs> Fun times. So basically, my time limit is my hard drive space. What's this a lot? Because I have like 800 gigs. And if I'm trying to move this mouse out of the way here, this other mouse that is not related to what we're doing. <coughs> Anyways, so yes, this is Descent 2. We hear that annoying thing in the background, but we don't care. Let's see. What are we going to talk about? Well, I don't know. For one, we'll point out the fact that we can break the lights here. So yes, the PTMPC put all of its funding into breakable lights. We're gonna have to murder them all. Anyways. And I think it's this thing. That is the um, guide bot thing. I think if we... I think yes, we did change the controls. If we change around our cam here, we can actually look from the guide bot's point of view. It is kind of freaking out. Can it see us? I think it can't see us, but it's just freaking out too much and it can't see by the grating. And there it is. I want the guide bot to look at me. Look at me, you stupid thing. Anyway, you see the guide bot's kind of going by all the robots. The robots really don't give two cents about it. Can you see me? Eh? Look at me! Hey. Anyways. Anyways, we're gonna turn that off, because we don't need to see from the back. Uh, I believe if we press F4, we can see all of the commands for this. Now, this is all the commands you can give to the um, guide bot, and it'll actually look for them and um, point them to you. 7 will be our most used command. So yes, we can just tell this thing to F off. And it will stay at the furthest corner of the map. And it's just doing that kind of right now. So anyways. So yes, yeah, slightly recording this differently. I'm using fraps, because I can. So anyways. Conspicuous glow in the ground. There is energy. It's sealed. Dang. I'll probably keep get keep getting those messed up. Anyways, we'll quick save to this. Because I tried this recording before, but um this is like the third time I've tried this. And I made the mistake of trying to explain everything. And it kind of killed off my commentary. Um, so anyways... <coughs> it's like... Yes, here is the first robot of the game. And we see Missile Cam! And... Yay! You think I was gonna hit that. Yes. So yeah, I got this game from uh, goodoldgames.com, or GOT.com, since... Looking for good old games.com would probably not come up with anything. Maybe it would, I don't know. Because I didn't actually ever have this game before now. I only had uh, Descent 2 for like Last of Infinity, and here's our first laser. Which I will immediately count. So that is laser number one. So, anyways, where was I? Uh, yes. Got this from good old game. or GOZ.com. About six bucks for both Descent 1 and 2, so I had to buy Descent 1 again. But anyways, here is something magical. It does something. We'll find what out what out it does later. I can speak. So anyways, 
here are hostages. They're exactly the same as they were in the last game. They're just useless. They're useless and only for points, and I'm gonna have to deal with that quickly. It's one of those annoying settings. Well, I'm gonna get this first. Now, that was a one-time thing. You break that, and a door opened. You can never open that door again. It is retarded like that. Oh, you! You things! Ugh. Yes, those things are the Vulcan things. You can see they are actually projectiles. It's really fast. Doesn't make me like them anymore. So yes, this first area is now completely dark. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's like, they're breakable. I must break them. However, I don't see these are breakable. So yes, I'm just gonna... Yes, breaking one of the lights completely wrecks the first circuit. Or completely wrecks the circuit. This makes complete sense. So anyways, uh, we still go in here now. We now actually have the afterburner. What else we can do? Well, actually we won't use it right yet. We haven't found the energy center. I want to get the energy center before we do anything. Mm. You sing! And now robots can open doors, which is even more excellent. So we aren't completely safe by using doors now. The doors have now betrayed us, and hey! And now we opened a door, or it says door opened. What do you mean by door opened? It means it completely got rid of a wall in the level. I mean, there's those Hulk replacements there. They're firing white lasers. We've never seen white lasers. Arr. But we'll see more of them later. Okay. Anyways, we have stuff back here. Which we will immediately pick up. Uh, is that for now? Nah. So basically now our only surefire way of having light is to either have those invulnerable lights or energy. But then when we run through those we pick them up, so it kinda doesn't matter. Anyways, here's more grading. Ain't it this great? Um, so if we look over here... By the way, this first and, the first and second levels aren't blind. I have kind of played through them before. Even before I recorded the first time I played through in, in the demo version. Anyways, here we have another switch that makes the entire wall disappear. Uh, I'm sure there's one back here that did the same for this wall. There it is. I'll assume I can see through there. And I'll keep auto or get quick saving, yes. I can probably leave those for now. I will leave those for now, in fact. Uh, anything else around here? There is a cloaking that I'll likely never use. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll just use it right now. Completely defined what I say. I'm good at that. Another one-time door thing, and this is right you. And then I destroy you all. Hey, you cannot see me, you jerk. Sure. Oh well. And hey, you cannot open this door. Well, that's fine. It's a touch field door. And that is a flash missile. Supposedly a flash bang missile. But hey, you! I see you there. Hey, you! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! You just completely slipped by me. Thank you very much. You are trapped in this room with me. I will destroy you. Yes, this is a safe spot. We may or may not demonstrate what it does. Anyways. Since we're the only thing in the world that can activate touch field, this thing's not escaping. Or it is. <laughs> the hell with it. Anyways. Now it's completely dark in here and I can't see a bloody thing. It's now the darkest corridor ever. Anyways, do we have any other missiles? Yes, we have homing missiles. Let's use those. 